Good morning, church family. Uh, this week we are asking God to give us a fresh vision for how we can accomplish our mission in Boysville, Glenwood City, surrounding communities, how our church can bring people to Jesus Christ, to baptize them and teach them to follow our Lord and Savior. So the way we can do that, how can we all be involved in that and preach the gospel without words, be a witness to our friends and family and and neighbors and people we work with. Uh, well, today we're talking about choosing to be different. If we want to be a witness for Christ, we have to choose to be different. Peter says in chapter one, first Peter chapter one, beginning with verse 13, therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you to be holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Now you might think, I don't know if I can be holy. I, I, I feel so unworthy. I know that there's so much that is messed up in my life and I'm not doing right that I, I just don't know if I can be holy. I'd like to call that out right now as um, an attack of the evil one. Uh, we, uh, he would like for us to scuttle the ship before we ever untie from the dock. And, and we can't do that. We, can't, uh, we need to lift the shield of faith and, and knock down his fiery darts. None of us are perfect. We all, we're all in process and we're all at different places in our spiritual journey, but we have all received grace. We have to know that we are holy. Be holy for I am holy. Christ has made us holy with, the, with his own blood. And so we've been purchased, we've been forgiven, we've been cleansed. Now, if there's something in your life or my life that, that the spirit is convicting me of that sin, then I need to acknowledge that and confess it and repent and ask God's forgiveness and then to leave that behind and move on. But false guilt um, and a sense of unworthiness that I, I don't uh, deserve um, God's grace or that um, I'm not good enough to serve him, that comes from Satan. That doesn't come from the Holy Spirit. So we need to simply choose to be different. If we are not different from people in the world, if we're trying to blend in and be like everybody else, then why should anyone follow Christ? If we're just like them and there is no difference, if Christ has made no difference in our lives, then why should anybody else follow Jesus? And so we must choose to be different. We must um, choose to be holy. And the way we do that, let me take us back to the scripture here again, is by setting our uh, minds and our hearts on the grace to be brought when Christ revealed at his coming. Notice that um, it's grace. Set your hope on the grace to be brought to you. When we get to heaven and we see the Lord, none of us are gonna say, well, finally, it's about time. We're all gonna have a sense and a feeling of, I don't deserve to be here. Uh, it's all grace. And, and we'll be filled with hearts full of gratitude. So there's a difference between false guilt and, and genuine sense of, of gratitude for the grace that we have received. We have to set our minds and hearts on that grace. So will you do that today? Just choose to be different. Just choose to uh, look forward to God's grace that will be revealed to us and uh, live in, in the joy of that. And, and if we will do that, then our lives will be a bright candle in a dark place that will attract other people to Christ. Go get them, church.